guys, so this is Jack and this is my TED talk on doing on multi camera today. So what exactly is multi camera production? Multi camera production is when instead of using one camera, you use multiple cameras. They're all rolling at the same time, they have many advantages and disadvantages and today I'm going to be going through all of those. Let's start with live events. Multi camera is a massive time saver and for live events it works best simply because it is a live recording and there's no second attempt. It is recorded once and whatever you've got in footage wise is whatever you're going to get. This also saves a lot of time because you will be able to record those from multiple angles and capture those golden moments that you don't want to miss in a live concert or a sporting game or something like that. Studio production is also very important as well. Multi-camera can be used with studio production. It's normally used on many pre-recorded shows like Jeremy Kyle, X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, all those kind of things. Also Australia's Got Talent. For example, they basically want to focus on one, they don't have to focus on one person with a certain camera. So basically how that works is, is you'll have camera one focusing on camera one, uh, person one, then you've got camera two and three focusing on person two and three. This gives them a lot more shots and they can get a lot of angles around and be able to really show the, the uh, show off a lot better. What else have we got? Basically, it makes their recording and their, uh, their filming a lot smoother and easier to do, and very time saving because you don't need to go, all right, here's one shot, done, pick up the tripod, put it over there, go for another shot, because you've got to redo it again. It's all in one go with a normal amount of camera angles. With multi camera, you have so much more visibility with the amount of angles and shots you can acquire, but there's also holds a disadvantage as well. The reason why is because you could actually have so many cameras and angles around that you might end up getting people in the production team in the actual shot. So you've got to make sure you're smart where you place your cameras. You don't want the camera peeping in and being able to have a couple of the production team on set because you're going to look like an idiot. So you've got to make sure you do it properly. But multi camera will cut recording time by a long mile compared to single camera. It's because you've got so many angles on and you don't have to re-record stuff. Communicating meaning to the viewer also is another point that multi camera can do. For some shows like Top Gear, use mobile camera to communicate with its viewer. They can get across a powerful message quite effectively with multi camera, being able to jump from scene to scene and angle to angle, being able to portray some sort of message. The visual style is also very top notch, simply because the scene shall consistently have different shots from different angles, which makes it more visually pleasing for the viewer since there is no many different shots and it isn't coming from the same camera. Maintaining the viewer's interest is also a very important thing that multi-camera needs to do. Single camera attempts to fail at this simply because it's going to be normally one or two different angles but it's quite the same. Multi-camera you've got numerous amount of angles all firing at once and you can have them going back and forth. Makes the, makes the viewer a lot more entertained and it keeps them watching because they're always having a different scene and angle to see from. There are some drawbacks out of multi camera as well. For example, lighting. So lighting, if you've got the same, you have to have the same lighting on if you're going to do multi camera because you're all recording all in one go. If you're doing something like single camera, you can adjust your lighting because you're going to be having to re-record certain shots anyway. With multi camera, it's all in one go, so you've got to make sure the lighting is the same. You also get a bit more of restrictions when it comes to more of being an outside. Now, when it comes to going outside, you can still use multi camera but it depends on where you're shooting. If you're shooting somewhere that's quite an enclosed area, then your chances are not very high, mate. But if you're doing single camera, you can do that fine. It varies about where the environment of your actual recording is. And also, you can actually adjust your lighting as outside a bit more as well. But you need to have the right equipment for it, of course. Also look into simultaneous rolling. So basically all that means is it continuously rolls. And you have a master cam, their master cam is basically the main camera. You can actually adjust what shot you're looking at. You can then pick what shots you want. You can put them all together and mash them up. But regardless, they're all going to be recording all at the same time. As a concluded overall on multi camera, multi camera is very beneficial for most film producers. You can use single camera. Multi camera tends to be a more, more easier to use for time consuming, better angles, more opportunities, and it's all in one go, mate. So, from what I've said from all this stuff here, I'm a rooter for multi camera. I like single camera, don't get me wrong, but multi camera is just so much easier. Alright?